Hello guys, welcome back. Today I am here with another unboxing video. Why I am here? I am going to do unboxing of this bloody mouse. Its name is W60 Max. And why I am buying this one? Because before I was using this mouse, it's same A4 Tech bloody but the version is v3 it was having so many problems these side buttons are stuck already and sometimes they are they came out and sometime if you can see this light now it's red it means it's working fine but sometime when i switch on my pc this light is becomes yellow and it start blinking and the mouse it's not usable so i had a lot of trouble so now it's time to upgrade here is the package i haven't opened it let's open it together and see what's inside and how good it is okay so i'm using my clark muddy tool which is very nice and it's not too much expensive as well it's very sharp so you have to be very careful while using it so this is the first look of the box it's a very nice uh, packing w60 max is the name of the mouse and it has RGB lighting everywhere. The sensor they're using is 3332A sensor, which is very nice. It's for a high end mouse. 2000 Hz is the report rate. So, this mouse is already activated Ultra Core 3 and 4. Previously, these mouses were not activated. You have to buy a $10 license to activate this Ultra Core 3 and 4. If we talk about the features, 15 zone RGB animation, preloaded 5 RGB lighting effects, adjustable XY axis, 2000 Hz report rate, 4 type LOD adjustment, lift of distance, 4 MB onboard memory, 6 weapon modes of left key, dual injection soft rubber grips which is very nice for holding, metal X glide armor boot which is very nice and it very smooth. If we talk about tracking, sensor is max BC3332 a 10K sensor, resolution is 100 to 10,000 CPI or DPI, frame speed is 8,000 FPS, acceleration is 35G, tracking speed is 250 IPS. Response report rate is 125 to 2000 Hertz, key response is just 1 millisecond. Talk about durability, micro switch is over 50 million clicks, right and left buttons. Wheel is over 500,000 scrolls and Metal X Glide Armor Boot is over 300 kilometers. It has the dur durability of the best mouse. If we talk about what's inside the box, it has the bloody stickers, which is seven types of stickers we have. Let me just remove it from the packing. And the first look of the mouse is very nice and elegant. It is like very luxury mouse. All clicks are very nicely sounded. If you look at the back of the mouse, it has two type of buttons and this, these are the metal glide boots. And if we talk about this button on the left side, it is changeable and response that we can change 125 to all the way 2000 Hertz. And on the right side, lift of distance is measured in millimeter. 1.523 and parking mode i think i guess this is the parking mode and let me just uh, plug it in my computer real quick and this is how it is showing all the rgb lights very nice and mesmerizing i always adore these rgb lightings and it has uh, RGB in the back of the mouse as well and the bloody logo is also RGB lit enabled and the wheel is scroll is very nice and smooth it's not giving that clicky uh, sound it has some a little bit clicky sound and the feel but it's not too much noticeable while changing the response rate it is going to start with white red and green and yellow lights and lift out distance it will start from yellow 
green red and then white it will be switched off and if we talk about the grip the grip of uh, this mouse is okay but if I compare with my previous mouse V3 it is a little bit uncomfortable from the right side of the mouse because I'm used to to play in V3 that was the curved side of the mouse and my hands were very firm with that grip but now it will take some time to hold this one but this is not the rounded mouse it has some edges so you have to bear with that one it will take some time for you to use to to use this mouse i hope you guys like this video please give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends thank you so much